Hi guys. It is getting to be a chilly night here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here. Going into the middle of August. Yes, I got my Uggs on and long sleeve shirt. Just put another sleeping bag out of my tent where I'm sleeping tonight. So, I don't know what all this news about heat waves and all of that stuff is. There ain't no heat wave going on here, but uh, it is. In fact, it is August 10th. I think it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes, the trash man was here. It is Wednesday, August 10th, 2022. So, guys, I have actually been biting my tongue on this, on this rant uh, about this new... Uh, unadulterated horse shit. What's it called? Inflation Reduction Act, which I guess they're just calling the IRA. Now, I actually started to do this rant a few days ago, but I could not stop the, I could not control the F bombs about this giveaway to the fossil fuel. Uh, industry, you know, the Save the Planet giveaway to uh, Big Oil, and uh, I couldn't do the rant. I actually heard another Doomer a few days ago, can't remember who it was doing a rant on this story. Wish I could remember, it was a pretty good rant. I actually counted the F-bombs in that rant. 161 F-bombs, 100, well, various forms of the F-bomb, whoever that guy was, had, had a little dog. Uh, anyway, I don't know who that guy, but anyway, 161 F-bombs. But in that rant, that dude uh, was talking about trying to predict how those little lefties at Common Dreams were going to play this story. And he was predicting how Common Dreams were going to be sitting, uh, you know, talking about how this bill was going to save the planet, you know, quoting Al Gore and AOC. I don't know what Greta Thunberg has said about this. I have not heard her uh, reaction to it. And then... I open up Common Dreams, and they have finally uh, come out with their own story. My guess is this story was probably held up on the editorial desk. It's this little hottie, uh, Jessica Corbett. She looks like she's about Greta Thunberg's age. And uh, so Jessica has uh, done her homework. This young lady has done her homework and I guess uh, unbelievably common dreams. Well, I'll have to say common dreams has had a shot of testosterone. Good for them. So take it away Jessica Corbett uh, who is not a lefty and explain the new Inflation Reduction Act, which of course, you know, Al Gore and all the rest of the, you know, those lefties are heralding as the greatest uh, save the planet legislation in history. Okay. Historic climate bill say clear-eyed critics still pours gasoline on the flames, which is exactly what this bill does. This bill is just a, a gift to big oil on a silver plat on a silver platter. It was it's not a compromise. It is a sellout to the oligarchy running this country. It, it is just the latest slap in the face to everything from a, uh, and I use it with a small d, democratic process right on up to the planet. Uh, th 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 this is just, it it's an insult to anybody's intelligence. Sancho Panza's intelligence, I think even Tigger Trump has been insulted 
But anyway, uh, we're going to let Jessica Corbett uh, interview, what did she call them? Clear-eyed critics. These are what the clear-eyed critics, how they are uh, interpreting this. <clears throat> While many environmental advocates celebrate the Senate Democrats' climate deal this week, frontline activists, frontline activists, and more critical voices continue to note that the new legislation, whatever its promises and upsides, remains an inadequate response to the global emergency. Do you think so, darling? An, in, an inadequate response to the global emergency that will likely further harm community, which will likely further harm communities already affected by fossil fuel pollution. Yeah, like any community uh, on the planet. The Senate approved the Inflation Reduction Act, now known as the IRA, in a party-line vote on Sunday and is expected to pass the Democratic-controlled House as soon as Friday. Writing for Jacobin, J-A-C-O-B-I-N, I don't know, uh, I guess we're supposed to know what that publication is. I don't know if it's a lefty publication or a right one. Anyway, writing for Jacobin in the wake of the Senate vote, Branko Mercetic, never heard of Branko, called for being clear-eyed about the package, adding that, quote, the urge to smooth over the IRA's serious flaws was understandable, when its prospects of passing sat on a knife edge. But, after passing the Senate, it has now overcome its biggest hurdle. Well, uh, no, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, so, you know, this is all about, you know, Joe Munchkin teaming up with uh, Chuck Schumer, you know, in some little back room deal. Uh, Anyway, we won't try to imagine uh, what that looked like. Okay, so explain this to us, Branko. Quote, People need to understand the realities of the bill. That this is a legislative ransom note written by a fossil fuel industry that backed and now celebrates it. One, we, meaning the Democrats at this point, you know, those little Democrats, we had no choice but to go along with given the political realities and that its passage is not only the end of one battle, but the start of a new front in the war to stave off calamity. Yes, we are out of the battlefield into the war. You know, this is one more. One more of the out of the frying pan into the fire. Anyway, all right. Framing the Senate, the Senate passage as a, quote, bitter triumph. A bitter triumph. There you go. The New Republic's Kate Aronoff noted that the bill is, quote, a historic achievement and vitally important given that Democrats may not get to govern again for a decade. <laughs> yes, but it also consigns more people to living next to more fossil fuel infrastructure for longer. Yes, uh, do you think so? The, this is still uh, whoever Kate Aronoff is. The IRA's passage does not close the book on U.S. climate policy so much as opens it 
uh, she argued, making the case it was only possible to pass any bill the cause of sustained activism. I'm not going to get into that rant. Quote, uh, As ever, the best guides to navigating what comes next will likely be the people who want it in the first place and who will have to live the closest to its consequences. Well, that would be anybody on the planet breathing air. Okay, so what has happened since uh, since Sunday? Since Sunday, when Democratic senators also rebuffed an attempt by Senator, Senator Bernie Sanders to strip away the bill's fossil fuel handouts. You know, good for Bernie uh, 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 on this. You know, I give a lot of crap to Bernie, but Bernie did, uh, you know, make an 11th hour appeal. Like, guys, come on. But of course, he was shot down uh, by, you know, by the other Democrats. Uh, I really wish that Bernie, he didn't have the balls to vote against it. So even when they did not strip away the bill's fossil fuel handouts, you know, we still voted for it. Anyway, <clears throat> since Sunday, frontline activists, I keep using that word, frontline activists, national groups and climate scientists have shared criticism of the legislation negotiated with Senator Joe Munchkin, an impediment to various progressive prioritize whose personal wealth and political career are both tied to dirty energy. Yes. Um, then they show a bunch of tweets here. All right. <clears throat> Food and Water Watch, whoever that is, uh, the group Food and Water Watch Managing Director of Policy Mitch Jones said that, quote, it is no surprise that climate policy tailored to meet the demands of a coal baron would fall well short of what is needed to adequately address the severity of the climate crisis we face, close quote. So while the IRA includes about $369 billion in what is called energy security and climate change investments, the bill, <clears throat> this is I guess still quoting this Mitch Jones fellow, the bill devotes billions to industry schemes like carbon capture, which exist solely to extend the life of the fossil fuel industry. And this was the point that that other doomer in that 161 F-bomb uh, laden rant was pointing out last week. That does anybody fail to grasp this bullshit carbon capture technology. Okay, it is what did this Mitch Jones fellow, how did he word it, which exists solely to extend the life of the fossil fuel industry. Anybody who thinks that carbon capture and storage uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's some way to fight big oil. Uh, probably, you know, people who think, uh, well, that uh, Joe Biden is a socialist, maybe. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Mitch Jones, for pointing this out. That's a whole nother rant for another day. Uh, <clears throat> The bill also conditions using federal lands and waters, otherwise known as our public lands and waters, to expand wind and solar on fossil fuel leases 
and specifically enables future drilling in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico that the Biden administration previously prevented. One more time, do we get this? Thanks to this bill, there will be more, not less, oil and gas drilling in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico. The, 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 the same places that Biden acted like that he was locking up. Uh, th th this munchkin dude uh, is, is laughing all the way to the bank. Okay, what are the Nate? What are these uh, people out there? These, these, uh, whatever you want to call them, the noble savages up there in uh, Alaska. This is Sikanik Malpin. Uh, one of these indigenous activists, quote, This new bill is genocide. There is no other way to put it. This is a life or death situation, and the longer we act as though the world is not on fire around us, the worse our burns will be. Close quote. Uh, and then, this is a tweet from Bill McGuire. I just did a, uh, I just did a Sunday sermon, I believe, from Bill McGuire recently. One of these climatologists over there in England. This is what Bill McGuire, uh, climatologist Bill McGuire, has to say about this. Quote, <clears throat> as more details are forthcoming, it is clear that this bill is not quite what it seems. Fossil fuel corporations are laughing all the way to the bank as billions in tax breaks are shoveled their way and new drilling and pipelines given the green light. Truly dismal. And I notice here in the mainstream media, there is an article already about one of these, good Lord, there's so many of these pipelines uh, that already one of these big controversial pipelines, uh, you know, there's a big fight going on about it. I can't even remember which one. They are already celebrating this bill is going to green light this big ass oil pipeline. I can, sorry, I can't remember which one it is. They all run that you better believe that these pipeline builders are uh, all over this. Uh, this this is a gift to uh, the fossil fuel industry. Okay, back to this. I like this Jones guy. Uh, if I if I ever uh, get back into interviewing, I'm going to have to interview Mitch Jones. Okay, citing the quote already abundant evidence that investing in clean renewable energy does not, in and of itself, displace fossil fuels. Any adequate climate policy must directly confront, you know, the dirty energy sector. The fact that oil and gas executives seem pleased with this legislation speaks volumes about its glaring shortcomings. Activists and frontline communities will continue fighting to stop fossil fuel corporations that threaten our air, our water, and a livable planet. Okay, I figured Center for Biological Diversity would have their panties in a wide over this giveaway to big oil, and you better believe they do. This is Jean Sue of the Center for Biological Diversity, one of the groups leading the fight for ambitious legislation 
alongside a climate emergency declaration from Joe Biden was similarly critical. Okay, what do you think, Gene? Quote, this, you know, the, the IRA was a backdoor, take it or leave it deal between a coal baron and Democratic leaders in which any opposition from lawmakers or frontline communities was quashed. It was an inherently unjust process, a deal which sacrifices so many communities and does not get us anywhere near where we need to go, yet it is being presented as a savior legislation. A savior legislation, that's exactly, you know, listening to Al Gore. Oh. So, you know, of course, Monday morning, uh, what do you think was the number one story on the planet, which I managed to ignore, the number one story on Yahoo News was Al Gore trumpeting uh, the, this uh, handout to big oil as, you know, this legislation that is going to save this planet. Uh, if, if you had one shred of respect left for Al Gore, which I can't imagine anybody on this channel has, uh, I, I did not even insult your intelligence by reading that crap out. Okay. <clears throat> uh... On Tuesday, indigenous lawyer Tara Huska, public citizen president Robert Weissman, and Bishop William Barber of the Poor People's Campaign appeared on Democracy Now! to voice their concerns about the bill. And that is, well, they, that's a video clip from, uh, from Democracy Now! Uh, talking uh, uh, about the very, you know, the very notion of democracy. Uh, this is corporatocracy. This is oligarchy. Uh, it has nothing to do with democracy. Okay, I knew we'd have to get to Greenpeace here. Greenpeace also directed attention to those who will be most affected by future fossil fuel production, saying the IRA is a, quote, historic climate investment, but pours gasoline on the flames, close quote. Uh, Ebony Twilly Martin, Greenpeace USA's co-executive co director, called the bill, quote, a slap in the face to the frontline communities, grassroots groups, and activists that made this legislation possible. The IRA is packed with giveaways to the fossil fuel executives who are destroying our planet. It sacrifices the same people who have always borne the brunt of oil, gas, and coal infrastructure and climate crisis. Yep, yep, yep. The Greenpeace leader added that a side deal on reforming the federal permit process for energy infrastructure, quote, is simply a, dis a disaster, but that is what happens when the industry responsible for climate change also calls the shots on climate policy, close quote. And, you, you know, good for her. That's a, a, another thing that this bill, uh, what it does is it accelerates, accelerates the permitting process 
for oil and gas drilling uh, on our public lands. It will now be easier than ever thanks to this historic climate uh, bill that Al Gore and, and all of those uh, idiots are trumpeting over there at the mainstream media. Uh, it will be easier than ever, okay, to drill for oil and gas on our public lands. And, it's, and we're talking about uh, in Alaska and in offshore, uh, you know, both offshore and up in Alaska. All right, here is Center for Climate Integrity President Richard Wiles also emphasized industry influence, huh? Suggesting that while record-breaking heat waves, floods, wildfires, and droughts should inspire a boulder bill that does not prop up polluters, Quote, the long shadow of big oil's climate deception hangs over this legislation. The reason it has taken Congress decades to pass even this modest bill is because the fossil fuel industry continues to wage a relentless campaign of disinformation, deception and dark money to block climate progress and keep the nation hooked on its products. I, am, I will fully admit I am as hooked as anybody on this planet on the fossil fuel industry's products. Uh, life would suck without the fossil fuel industry's products. It really would. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to skip over some of these tweets. I, I mean, I'm skipping over some of these people. All right. Here is... Okay. This is from, uh, you know, 350 New Mexico. Tom Solomon and Jim McKenzie, co-coordinators of 350 New Mexico, concurred that, quote, The Inflation Reduction Act is a stark example of the naked corruption of government in Washington, D.C. The continued ability of the fossil fuel corporations to buy their way into business as usual in the face of accelerating climate catastrophe is alarming and depressing. Is it good that the IRA passed the Senate? Yes. Is it an insult to frontline communities. Yes, as climate activists, we will continue to oppose any expansion of fossil fuel infrastructure, including the proposed fossil hydrogen hubs here in New Mexico. I'm a little bit confused With this a rhetorical question, is it good that the IRA passed the Senate? Yes. Huh. Anyway. All right. Let's do one more here. Ashley Engel of whoever Ikea Collective said that, quote, I guess she's from Oklahoma, like New Mexico, Oklahoma is situated on the front lines how many times can we hear the word frontline? That's one word, frontline. I have heard the word frontline more times in this article than I have in the first 62 years of my life. Uh, anyway, like New Mexico, Oklahoma is situated on the front lines of the climate crisis and fossil fuel extraction. We don't have the luxury of accepting half measures 
or negotiations when our people are dying with Congress applauding their vote to turn communities like mine into sacrifice zones through the Inflation Reduction Act, the imperative is now squarely on Joe Biden to do what is right, to unleash his executive authority, and to declare a climate emergency. Yes, I'm sure that will, uh, that will save the planet. So, uh, guys, obviously, uh, I'm, I'm not going to get off uh, onto the whole flip side of the rant. Uh, since, to their credit, uh, Jessica Corbett and, uh, and Common Dreams never mentioned what the bill supposedly does to help the climate, since, correctly, they put their attention on what it's going to do to keep destroying uh, the climate and the rest of the planet. Uh, of course, the flip side is everything in the bill supposedly to save the planet is as full of shit as, uh, as these fossil fuel giveaways. Uh, the, uh, the flip side of the bill is all of these subsidies and giveaways to these big green, uh, bright green lie energy companies. It doesn't make any difference, guys. Do you get it? Energy companies are energy companies. Uh, as that dude, whoever it was, who I cannot remember, was saying, this bill is no longer, is not the frying pan or the fire. It is the frying pan and the fire. And that is exactly what it is. Uh, you don't have a choice between the frying pan or the fire in this bill. You get both of them. And good luck with that. But uh, I'm probably going to have to put some damn fossil fuels to work turning on a damn heater on this cold August night, but we're going to go camping up in the piney woods. Me and a little dog are going to go camping up in the piney woods tonight, and we're going to have no... We're going to have no fossil fuels tonight. We're going to have no electricity, no fossil fuels. Get out there and enjoy your fossil fuels while you still can, and it sounds like you'll be able to enjoy them a lot longer. Are you mooning? Uh, are you mooning Joe Biden? Yes. Bye, guys.